Good morning, everybody. This is Sierra Whaley from WJFW News Watch 12. Um, I am so excited to take you on a day in the life of a news anchor. Um, so this morning, it's a little bit easier. It's Friday. Um, so I picked a very bright uh, color, just trying to get the bright colors in before, you know, it gets too cool. We have to change the fall colors. But anyway, um, as you can see, yeah, you know, I woke up not long ago. Um, I have no makeup, nothing on. So I am starting my day. It is 2.30 in the morning. Um, before this, before um, I got bumped up just a tad, uh, I would go in the morning for the morning show a lot earlier. So this is actually pretty nice. Um, but yeah, let's start the day. So we are off for the day. We're ready to get this day started. Usually when I leave in the morning, I make sure that I leave with uh, a few key things. and. That is, of course, my person gatherings. Um, always bring an extra charger with me because you never know. And um, usually an extra dress. So in the morning, it took me a long time to figure out what can get me up and going. Because I'm sure a lot of you will think, how do you get up at that time with this amount of energy? Some days, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but uh, I figured out that, you know, coffee, especially around this time, can be a little harsh on your tummy. So I have kind of tried to convert to just making sure that I was hydrated and drink a lot of water. And that's actually been helping me out a lot. So that's just a little tip there that, um, you know, you should know. And we are here. All right. Good morning, morning crew. Good morning. Good morning. It's really quiet in here, just so everybody knows. This is how the mornings are at WJFW. This is the newsroom. And it's only about three of us, <laughs> but there's a whole lot more people in the back. Um, so I guess I will give a small tour of the station. So, oh, hello, Woody. So that is our master control room. Again, it is super, super quiet. So up here, the office area administration, obviously they're not in. So. This is really the only parts that are kind of getting going and active. This is our break room. It's quite small, but it does the trick. And this is our coffee, which I've been staying away from for a little bit. All right, so little update. I had to change my dress today because uh, my other dress keyed out. So that means on the green screen that you usually will see in news stations that it kind of blends in with that and we don't want that. So now to continue this tour, let's get back to that. So I'm pretty sure we are going down this hallway. This is the master control room. That is very, very important. Right now is kind of crunch time. It's about an hour before the show, so we're preparing. Hello, honey. <laughs> we're just preparing for the show, um, reading over everything, making sure we have stuff right. Um, this is where another part of the magic happens. This is one of our directors, LJ. He's amazing. Um, he is preparing for the show and just making sure we have everything together. Hello, that's me. And now we're going into the studio where I guess you can say more of the magic happens. So this is the green screen area, our couch. Um, this is the weather wall. And this is where we get to sit. So I must say we have a pretty beautiful set. It's pretty awesome. So like I said, right now it's about four o'clock. Um, it just crunch time for the show, so we're just getting everything together, putting our final touches on there. Um, this is the editing bay. This is Jordan, another director, editor. He's amazing. He literally, they make the show happen. If we didn't have them, it would be a rough time. So they are awesome. And so I'll take you back here to what are y'all doing? <laughs> the producer Kev, you saw him earlier this morning. And you saw a lot of him. And this is Andy <laughs> Kikafer. He Got is it. filling in for Devin Biggs this week. So No, I am Devin Biggs. Okay, I he's Devin Biggs for the week. Don't take Devin Biggs Well, they're chatting it up back here before we get things going. Thanks, you guys. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. So you can see we're very silly here. 
So now I'm gonna go back, read and get glammed up because we gotta, we gotta fix this face here. All right, so all glammed up, ready to go through the curtains. Um, so it's about 20 minutes before five. Our show is a two hour show, starts at five and it ends at seven. And so I like to get out here about 20 minutes early because just for me, it's, you know, I'm a little paranoid. I'm a paranoid person. So I like to get out early. If there's anything I need to double check, I do that. I kind of read through the blocks of the show, um, which is basically the structure. And yeah, so I am on the desk and we're basically ready to go. So at the desk, we always should keep a spare of like our scripts. Um, Cause you never know, technology, we love it. And sometimes it has a mind of its own. So I have my iPad in front of me. I have the rundown of the show which is good in case anything needs to be dropped out of it because of timing, anything like that. And then I also have our weather headlines provided by Andy, um, just to give us an idea of the weather we're looking at today so we can talk about it. Um, I have, you know, my lip gloss, my hairbrush with me. As you can see today, my hair is a tad bit frizzy, but it's Friday, it's okay. <laughs> so um, yeah, at this point, we're just waiting for the show. I kind of go over my lines and we'll get started very soon. I will show you Megan when she comes in, she's getting ready right now. And just so everybody knows, we don't have a hair crew or makeup crew. We do everything ourselves. We get, we write, we conduct the show, we do it all. So this is just the power of uh, an amazing team here. So I'll see you in a few. And it's Miss Megan Mamma. Oh, you're still filming. Hello yes. there. <laughs> I was just like telling them what we have at our desk and just, you know, it's crunch time now, but we're, you know, we come out a little early because it's probably the best thing to ever do before any show. You it's do want to come early. out early. You never know what's going to happen. You never know if you have to look back at something. Um, make sure you have your scripts and everything, but... We're all glammed up and ready to go. And Centers for Disease Control and Prevention question middle and high school students for the survey. The agency say these results cannot be compared to previous years because of the pandemic, but it still shows e-cigarettes are extremely popular among teens. Facebook is back in the hot seat. Congress pushing the social media giant. All right, so we are done with the show now. It is about uh, 7.30, 7.32. So after the show, we have these things called cut-ins, which is just uh, short snippets of news throughout the morning for uh, our viewers, along with you know the national stuff going on. Um, so after we record that, I'm gonna put back my iPad, my little mic, so I'm not a little robot anymore. And we go in and have our morning meeting just to go over any problems or issues we saw throughout the show. And it's the weekend, so we are done for the day. Thanks for following me today.